In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this beautiful certificate design in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have added this floral design as the background here and the same background I have used for the certificate font. And then I've put the certificate of appreciation and then the name and surname can be replaced. And you can add the detailed text or the detailed text can be replaced with your own text. And at the bottom, I've added the date and signature. And if you can see in the background, I have given some textured fill. And here I've given this uh, ribbon and uh, put the text as brand award and then this text also you can be replaced with your own text and I've added some margins here so that uh, when you print the certificate uh, it will not affect the text or the design so let's see how to do this in PowerPoint add a new slide and then I'm going to change the slide size to change the slide size go to design you can see a slide size go to custom slide size and from the drop down list select a4 and the slide make it keep it landscape only and click on ok it will ask you for the two options you can just select any option and continue that now you can see here this is the a4 size landscape uh, slide then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the right triangle draw the right triangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline then go to rotate you can see here i'm just going to rotate right 90 degrees and then just keep it here and increase a little bit here and i'm going to give it a curve shape for that right mouse click go to edit points you can see here there are three points so i'm going to select the top point and just bend it something like this make it a curved kind of thing you can see here something like this i'm going to duplicate this shape by pressing ctrl d you can see here and then i can go to format and i can give some different color maybe some golden color kind of thing and then i'm just going to send this back just say send to back you can see here and then i'm just going to increase the size and increase it from here also so it looks something like this let me just move it make sure that the equal spacing is there and then i want to fill this particular shape or add this particular shape uh, some images in the background or some image in the background for that you need to go to this particular site www.unsplash Dot com you can see here this particular slide you got a very a good variety of free images here so you just need to select that one so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this right mouse click go to format shape and under fill select the picture or texture fill click on this and click on insert so the image which you have downloaded from that particular website uh, you have to just click from file and select the image so you can see here this image i have selected and then you have to go scroll it down you can see here rotate with shape you have to untick this one okay and then you can increase or decrease the image size using this offset functions you can see here i can just move it here and I can just move it to the right and I can move it on the top you can see here and this one I can move it down so something like this it will come it's up to you whichever image you select you just need to play with the offset and then if you want to change re uh, recolor this one you can go to format you can see your color and you can just choose any color so I've chosen this particular color and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the certificate here, the word certificate. You can see here the certificate and then I'm going to make it a bold. I'm going to use the font called Century Gothic or any other good font of your choice. You can choose it. Maybe this much size I want to keep it. You can see here and then I want the background of this to be the same of this so what I'm going to do I'm going to use this particular image again and then I'm going to intersect with this color so let's do it first of all you have to go to insert click on the picture and insert the picture which you have inserted or which you have downloaded from this particular website or the image which you have used here 
so you can see here this particular image let me just go to format and recolor it again using this one you can see here and let me just increase the size so that it will fit perfectly here and then i'm just going to send this back and you can see here certificate is there so what you need to do is if you want you can increase the size further and just keep it somewhere where you get the design properly and then i'm going to select the image first hold the shift key select the certificate and go to format and merge shape and remember merge shape is available only in the latest version of powerpoint in 2007 it is not there and in 2010 you need to enable it so i'm just going to you can see here i'm just going to intersect it the moment i intersect it it the same background has come here so i'm just going to keep it here so it's no more uh, the the fonts now because here you cannot increase or decrease the size of this one okay so this is become kind of a object here or a shape here okay and then i'm going to insert one more line here just as a design hold the shift key so that you get the perfect straight line and you can give any good color and increase the outline you can see here you can increase it keep it this one and if you want to move towards the right you can move it also and then i'm going to add certificate of appreciation select this right aligned make it increase the size you can give some good color combinations you can see here i have used these colors here using the this one which you can use the eyedropper also and use this color so this is the certificate of appreciation then go to insert text box and you can type first and last name you can see here and then i'm going to use a font called the hand of sean or any other font uh, which you feel better you can add it let me just put it in the small letters or sentence case you can see here increase the size maybe i'm going to give some dark gray color again right aligned and then just put it here and below you can add some detailed text so in this case i'm just going to add equals l-o-r-e-m within bracket one and you can replace your text with your own text and again give some light gray color here and the same font i'm going to use reduce the font size you can see here and again this one you make it justify and make sure that it is properly aligned to this you can see here and below you can add the date and the signature so here it comes the date and this also you can make it reduce the size give the same color some dark color gray color maybe center aligned and then go to insert shapes i'm going to select the line just draw the line holding the shift key you can see here you get a perfect straight line and then you give the same color some dark color and increase the width you can see here maybe 1.25 and increase the transparency so it looks something like this so this is the date let me just move it here aside and press ctrl d and i'm just going to add it here for the signature you can see here so this is the basic design is ready and if you want you can just add some kind of other uh, shape here and here i want to add the same shape in the form of circle for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key depending on your size maybe this much size i'm going to keep it shape outline you can make it no outline and then i'm going to select the picture or texture field the same picture you can see here and again make sure to remove this one and then you can just make it all zero here so that you can see here it looks something like this and again you want to change the color recolor it whichever color you like you can see here and on the top i'm just going to add some text here for example best employee example best employee make it white font make it bold 
I'm going to use the same font Century Gothic increase the size you can see here center align if it is not fitting properly then you can reduce the size you can see here and required if required you can give some shadow effect let me just reduce the size further so you can see something like this and if you want you can just give some border also you can just go to format shape outline i'm going to give the same color and you can increase the weight you can see here so it looks something like this and then you can add some ribbon here for that go to insert shapes you can just select maybe anything from here maybe arrow chevron you can see here something like this you can make it and you can give any color of your choice maybe this color shape outline make it no outline and then i'm just going to rotate it you can see here add one here press ctrl d and then just rotate this also you can see here just keep it here and select both of these and then send this to back so you can see here this is the design ready and if you want you can give some shadow effect for this let me just give some shadow effect at the bottom so it looks something like this and the last thing is i just want to add some pattern fill for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select the rectangle draw the rectangle by covering whole slide shape outline make it no outline and go and select the pattern fill from here you can see here and this pattern i'm going to select maybe these lines all right and go here format background i'm going to choose some light color you can see here it's very light color if it is not visible make it somewhat gray like this all right and maybe this is already white and then send this to back so you can see some uh, texture effect has been created for this uh, certificate now once the design is ready it's time for you to uh, save this as a pdf file and if you want you can just use this pdf file for the printing purpose so go to file you can see here i can simply save as you can see here and then from this list you can see a pdf file here so you just select the pdf file and click on the save button so the pdf file will be created and this particular file can be given to the printer to print it